Nijal's junta said Thursday that it had stopped an escape attempt by ousted President Mohamed Bazoum, who has been imprisoned by the military junta since July 26th coup d'etat, despite international calls for his release. The Interim authorities said that Bazoum and his family, with the help of accomplices in the security forces, planned to drive a vehicle to the outskirts of capital Niamey and catch a helicopter to neighboring Nigeria. The strong reaction of the defense and security forces made it possible to foil this plan to destabilize our country, a military spokesman said on a national television. Reuters was not able to confirm the account or reach Bazoum, whose whereabouts are unknown. Nijal's coup was one of the five that have swept West Africa's Central Sahel region in three years, leaving a vast band of arid terrain south of the Sahara Desert under the control of military rulers. Like elected presidents in neighboring Mali and Burkina Faso, Bazoum was pushed out in part because of mounting insecurity caused by the Islamic insurgency, but that has killed thousands in the region and which the military said it would be able to contain better than a civilian government. Bazoum party and family members say he has had no access to running water, electricity or flesh goods prompting condemnation from former Western allies. On Thursday, the first group of French soldiers ordered out of Nigel by its post-coup military rulers arrived by road in Djamena, the capital of neighboring Chad. The convoy has arrived without any particular problems. In Djamena, after 10 days on the road and in coordination with Nigerian forces, Army spokesperson Pierre Godelier told Agency France. The troops will depart by air from Chad to France, with a pullout expected to be completed by the end of December. Roughly 1,400 soldiers were based in the capital Niamey and western Niger to battle fighters linked to the Islamic State group and Al-Qaeda, bringing with them fighter jets, drones, helicopters, and armored vehicles, as well as the equipment to support them. France has supported ousted President Mohamed Bazoum since their coup and is calling for his release as are several other countries and organizations but the military regime remains inflexible for now thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe